Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about a cool kind of patent that I found um, while I was doing some research on the United States Patent uh, and Trademark Office website. Um, Stellantis is always filing new patents and stuff, so I like to check out the site and see if there's anything really interesting. But there was one that caught my eye. It actually got approved uh, for the patent on Halloween, October 31st. So I wanted to go through it. Um, if you ever read the patent things, they're kind of like, they, they're written by engineers, so they go in like in-depth stuff and it kind of gets confusing. So I kind of wanted to go through it and write something out that people could understand. But what this is, if you go into Mopar Insiders, you'll probably see my article there. Um, it's an approval for an innovative will, will well heater patent, okay? It's, it's kind of weird how you would think about it, but a lot of people would think like, it's just going to add more stuff, like basically more things to break on a car. But it's kind of a cool idea, and I think it's kind of neat. That's why I'm actually talking about it. It makes sense in some ways. So I don't think it will jack up the price of a vehicle too much, um, especially after I, I did some research on it. But what it does is it actually prevents um, snow buildup and ice buildup around your your actual wheel wells. So like here, this is my old 2014 Dodge Charger RT all-wheel drive sport. Uh, probably my favorite modern Mopar I've owned, even more than my 2023 Chrysler 300C. Absolutely love this car. Um, it was a daily driver for a long time. Um, Hemi power, all-wheel drive system, loved it could go through the snow, but I, why I wanted to show it was in this picture here, you can see the snow is kind of built up in the wheel wells. So what this thing does is, as you can see here, there's a patent and it shows a 300. Basically, what you're going to be looking at is how snow uh, goes around the car and how it affects different components. So basically what we're looking at is this right here. This is a picture, let me skip this real quick. This is a picture of what the wheel well would kind of look like. Now, it could be in a pickup truck, it could be in an SUV, but this is just a, a sample of what it would be like. So basically what you have is, if you ever seen like the rear window in your car with the defroster with the little um, metal lines in it, what it does is the same kind of thing, but it sits on the corners of the wheel wells. And it's activated, if we go down a little bit more, we can go through the, some of the patent drawings. And there it is there, but we want to see this one here. It's just a little thing that sits inside the wheel well, um, the actual plastic in it. And it connects with an adapter and runs just like a defrost for your rear window, but for the wheel wells. So it can be something very cheap to be implemented into different vehicles. Uh, if something breaks, it's very easy to replace. But how it works is even interest more interesting. So how it works is basically it's got heater integra uh, integration. So the heater is embedded within the main body of the wheel well component, keeping it secure and protected from debris and environmental damage. This setup provides direct heat to the wheel well, preventing ice formation by conducting heat through the material. So basically, it's not going to be so hot it will melt the plastic or polycarbonate or whatever. It'll just be enough just to keep ice from building up and snow building up inside the plastic there. Uh, the heater construction. The heater element is designed with conductive materials such as uh, carbon-based material or metallic wire, which emits heat when powered. The base of the heater can be made from dur uh, durable polymers like polycarbonate to ensure longevity and resilience. Now, temperature sensors. The heater <laughs> includes a temperature sensor that activates the heating element when temperatures drop, uh, drop below a certain threshold. This helps optimize power usage by automatically turning the heaters on only when it's needed. So this could be like, again, if you have a current Chrysler vehicle, you know, if you live in Michigan or any of like the colder climate, uh, you know, states or in Canada, when you go in and it's 38 degrees, your heated seats kick on, your heated steering wheel kicks on, your defrost will automatically power in your mirrors. That could be like that. Um, I don't know if it's going to be 38 degrees because usually ice starts forming at uh, 32, but it could be hooked up to that same system with plug and play. So it makes sense. 
Um, enhanced winter driving safety. Uh, with the heater activated, the wheel well remains free of snow and ice, uh, which could otherwise dislodge into critical components such as brakes and suspension or affect vehicle handling by keeping these areas clear. Uh, Stellantis aims to improve safety and comfort in winter weather. Okay, so basically, why is this, uh, like, what's the benefits of this thing? And there's two main benefits. Again, like I just said, the heater automatically activates when the temperature drops, reducing the uh, need for manual maintenance. It prevents ice buildup that could interfere with critical parts, such as sidesteps and suspension components. The reason why I say sidesteps is there was an, there's part of this patent drawing that shows sidesteps. Now, I had a Ram uh, 1500, 2019. I had power sidesteps on it with 22-inch wheels. And any time I drove that thing in the winter... If for long distances, the ice would build up like crazy in the wheel wells, and it would block the power running boards unless I went out and actually kicked it off or whatever. It would build up and keep the power running boards from deploying, and that's what this patent right here, this drawing, shows. You can see that the running board is up in this picture. Down here, it's down, but you can see where the that thing would sit, blocking the ice from actually building up there. Again, it just sits in the corners. They have other uh, things that you, they could do. They could put it on top. They could put it in all different types of spaces. That's what our, all these are saying. Um, but for the most part, if they kept it at the corners, it would make a lot of sense. And again, it's all plug and play. So if something happened, which, which would be rare, they could easily pop, it, uh, pop in a new one. So it makes sense. It's actually a really good idea. This is the rear part of the car. Um, this is that 300. Obviously, you can tell because of the wheel drawing. But if you look back here, they show like a vent kind of down here, and they're pointing at it. What they're showing is they could have this sit right down here, this heater, and it would block for, uh, debris from building up and basically drop underneath the car. It makes a lot of sense. I mean, if you live in a winter climate, you're, you'll know really well actually how good this idea actually is um you don't have to go out and kick the, the ice from building up in your wheel and what Stellantis is saying was like hey we could actually put those heaters all the way around and melt everything but it'll keep snow and debris away from hitting your suspension your brakes building up in your wheels and stuff like that so cool idea will will it happen don't know, but it's kind of a cool invention. I'm pretty sure we might see it happen on certain like upper scale models. That'd be kind of a cool thing to see in like your fully loaded trucks and your fully loaded cars. But um, I think it's still a little bit out. It's just an, a, a patent uh, like approval, so it doesn't mean it's going to happen. But they got the patent for it, so I just wanted to talk about it. Uh, stay tuned. There's a couple other patents that I found, and I'm going to be talking about those in this later this week. So. Uh, Take and subscribe to the channel or make sure to follow me on Mopar Insiders.